Good morning, everybody. It is Margaret, and I don't have a screen or anything to hide my mess, so it's one of those mornings. But I thought I'd come on this morning and just unboxing at my stuff, and I thought, you know what? I've had a few people ask, like, what kind of things I put in my mystery jewelry boxes, so I thought I would box my jewelry boxes up and and talk oh, I had a customer review and I'm usually super positive about customer stuff but this one really got to me you know every now and then there's one that gets to you before I jump into that hey I'm Margaret I'm a stay-at-home mom that is yeah making money selling online and doing other things shirts by merch by Amazon and things like that and I want to display my room this is a work in progress I know it looks like horrible messy now but it's way better like it's organized chaos right now. Like this pile over here is all like trash and things to be redonated. This pile over here is jewelry I'm sorting. All that stuff on the shelving back there is stuff that's like on the local garage sale site. I'm getting there. All that like Dollar Tree stuff is stuff for homeschool, which is going to be going to my homeschool room soon. Same thing with those those tray thingies. So anyway, it's organized chaos right now, but it's getting there. Okay. Yeah, again, if you're new, hey, Margaret, go down there and hit that subscribe button and get notified, little bell, when I go live and put up new videos and stuff. But So, okay, here was the review. <laughs> here was the review. So this person bought a mug from me on Etsy, right? Fine, cool, awesome, right? Well, the review they left was like, oh, my gosh, this mug was so small. It was like a child size mug. It was, it was a small mug. It wasn't tiny, though. It was just a smallish mug, whatever. Um, and then they said something like, it, I must have basically insinuating that I put the measurements in after they bought it. Like after they bought it and I had shipped it out, then I went back and added the measurements. They were like, if the measurements had been there, how do they word it? It was just like, what, why would I, that's, that's cr not, I don't want to say crazy because some people are sensitive about that, but like what, on what planet would I be like, Ooh, somebody bought this. Now I'm going to go and put the measurements in. How do they put it? Um, dimensions were not listed prior to purchase is what they said. I was like, what? Like, I'm going to like, somebody's going to buy it. Then I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and measure this thing. <laughs> and let me add the measurements now that you bought it. And I've, and like, if I've already shipped it, like, how would I get the measurement? <sighs> anyway, I messaged them back. It's super sweet. You know, I'm so sorry that you're not happy with your mug. I do accept returns. And I said something like, I understand that sometimes measurements get overlooked in the listings, right? Like, <laughs> ooh, I got you. Now I'm going to measure it. <laughs> I'm like fishing. I hooked you. <laughs> so there, like, that's, uh, anyway, whatever. And then I went, because normally I have the measurements in the photographs, and I didn't on this one, which is whatever. But anyway, hey, Patty. Hey, Laura. Hey, Jill. How's it going? Hello, Jade. Okay. So I'm going to make up my mystery bags. I thought I had three sold, but I only had two, which is a fine. I'll go ahead and make up three anyway. So basically, and then Carol was saying last night, do I put any, do I get the little bags to separate them all out, which is a really good idea and something I probably ought to consider going forward. You know what I mean? Good morning, Abundantly Yours and Cindy. Good morning, Timothy. I know. And normally I don't let it get to me, but maybe it's a rainy day. Maybe it's a woman lead thing I don't want to mention that <laughs> not that it's a woman thing but it's like there are certain times in a woman's life where she's a bit more frustratable <laughs> anyway good morning Angela <laughs> hello, hello. okay so when I, I have my basket because I've been doing these like sword thons or whatever where I'm sorting my jewelry so I've got this giant basket of jewelry that I'm gonna be putting into the bag and I have some little pouches just in case. Hang on, let me get some pouches. But I got at a garage sale. So I guess if I have any that are like chains or something, I can throw in one of these until I get some little bags. Sensitive, yeah. <laughs> I'm having a sensitive morning. Yeah, my husband went to work this morning, so good. That's, you know, he made a wise choice. <laughs> anyway, good thing is you get to think about it behind the scenes. But yes, yes. Hello, good morning, biohazard picker. I know it's early. Okay, so here we go. So I try to get a mix of things. Like I'll try to get some um, bracelets, some earrings and stuff in there. And I'll try to make sure there's like one or two pieces that are kind of like, wow, that's awesome. <clears throat> 
And so my mystery, the mystery boxes get like, they get between 20 and 30 items in there. So I got a bracelet. I'm going to put this like pop of color, pop of color in there. What else? I have a necklace. I have a bracelet. I want to get something. Else. Now, why is this in here? I need to put this somewhere else. That's a belt buckle. That's not going in there. I think we decided yesterday we weren't going to do belts and belt buckles and stuff. I hope you guys are having a good morning. Another thing, too, if you're especially if you're live or if you're watching later, not especially if you're live, but I'm running out of my, I'm reaching behind you. Hang on. Like, I need to order some more. These are my inserts to go in my packages. And I only have a few, like 20 left. So I, I want to find out what other people put on theirs. Because sometimes I'll see it in the group. Somebody will share theirs. And I'm like, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, let, let me know what kind of stuff you put. If you put an insert into your boxes and stuff, what do you put on there? Because I want to redo mine. Yeah, it's a belt buckle. Isn't that cool? It's an abacus belt buckle. Isn't that fun? <laughs> it was in my mystery box of stuff to sell. Okay, so this is going to go in there. I'm going to put that in there. That's cool. We, we sorted that yesterday. But this one I'm going to put in a pouch. And so, oh, thank you, Patty. That's my grandmother. Have I told you all that before? I probably have. That's my grandmother. My grandmother used to do rodeos in the 40s. So that's her. Uh -huh. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, so what do I have in there? Two. That's three right there. Nothing. I need to sort my sorting thing out. I, don't, I have to dig for the earrings when I want to put earrings in. Here, let's put that in there. That's four. Um, what else? Here's a cool bracelet. That can be five. That's a nice bracelet. Five. Um, is that broken? That looks broken. No, it's not. Okay. And that is six with these cool beads, but I think I saw hair. I think I got it. Okay. Make sure. I don't want any surprise hairs. That's six. Pretty bracelet. That'll be seven. <laughs> Y'all are going to be so impressed with my counting abilities when this is all over. <laughs> this will be eight going in. Oh, 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 eight. <laughs> and let me see. Here, this one. Oh, it's got a price tag on it. Let's take that off. Let's take off the price tag. This will be nine. Come on. There we go. I'm going to show you when I can get this off. Let me pop it off. There. This one gets to be number nine. Number nine. I don't have any earrings yet. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to sort this because the earrings are all down at the bottom. They all fell to the bottom. Huh. This one gets to be number 10. 10. And what do we want for 11? Let's do. No, I don't know. I don't know. We want that for 11. This could be 11. We were talking about that one last night. <laughs> 11. This will be a good one, right? That's 11. <laughs> You're such a good counter, Margaret. Yes, I'm talking about myself. Another person, 11. This one can be 12, a little ring, like so. Is it open? Oh, it does open. Well, oh, that's super cool. I didn't even realize that. Do I want to change my mind about this ring now? No, no, it's going in 11. Here's some earrings. Here we go. Let me open those up. Good morning, Joni. Thank you. Do you so do you guys use inserts in yours? Nobody said anything. Do y'all put a little insert in your in your package or do you just write on the invoice? What was I at? 11? So these will be 12. These are cute little heart, black heart earrings. 12. Another belt buckle. Get out of there, you. Let's see, I need 13 now. I'm trying to dig down in the bottom. Hmm. To find some earrings. Oh, this one's cute. 13. 13. Oh, maybe it was a luck. Yeah, it's like a little poison ring, right? 13. No, it was a ring, yeah. It was a ring. Um, 14. Let's see. Sorry if you're watching and you bought this. It's not a mystery anymore. Uh, yeah, let's see that one. 14. I feel like I'm overcounting. That's okay. Because that's what I said. It'll be between, <laughs> between 20 and 30. Here's some more earrings. These will be 15. These are fun. Hey, everybody. 
So these are like enamel on one side, like that kind of earrings. What was I on, 15? <laughs> Nobody's saying anything about their inserts, so I'm just going to assume nobody does inserts but me. That's a joke. I know you do. Um, what else do we want to put in there? This one's got some wear on it, but it's super, super cool. How about that? 16. 17. Uh... It, was, it would be cool if it was a poison ring. Yeah. Is it? I mean, it's like it opens. Maybe it's just a little locket ring. 18. I feel like I missed the number. Oh, well, we'll throw some extra stuff in there. Uh, hmm. I want to do this one. Yeah, I'll do it. This is an octagon bracelet. 19. And we need 20. And then we'll throw some extra stuff in there in case I miscounted. This one? I thought I'd do an insert, but never jump again to do it. Yeah. I need to do it. I need to make some new ones up. But yeah, like I said, I've seen some really cool ones that people have done. These are pretty. 20, these earrings. That'll be 20. And we'll throw in a couple extras. How about that? Yeah, we'll do this one as an. Oh, this has got a sticker on it. I need to unsticker that. I don't want to put a sticker in there. Hmm, what could we do for an extra? What do you think? Should I put this? It's a hair clip. It's not really jewelry, but it's pretty. Hair clip? Maybe. Yeah, let's do it. And then this really cool, it's like a medical, one of these. There, USA. Oh, that'll be my extras. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, so that's ready to go out. Good morning. Uh, how was your day yesterday? How was it? They, yeah, my day was great yesterday. The the guys got so spoiled, right? My, and my, it was my parents. Like we were really good this year. Normally, I go overboard. I love shopping for Christmas, and especially for my kids. But I was really restrained this year. I was so proud of myself. And then my parents just went hog wild and bought them like every I mean cool stuff but I'm just like really that's James got a rock tumbler like those are pricey yeah you too you went next to you um oh thank you thank you Bilda I hope I'm saying your name correctly let me know if I'm not where'd my tape go where'd my tape go oh well, I'll tape it in a second okay one more let's do one more because we have two that are going out this morning where did my baggies go? This is my baggy song. Ten inches of snow yesterday. Oh my goodness. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, good morning. Ten inches of snow. I can't even picture what that would be like. Because we had like a dusting of snow. Right, Abundantly Yours? I'm so excited for it because I want to play with it. Well, you know we're rock hounds around here. You know, we love the gems and minerals and rocks and stuff. And so I think my parents knew that. My dad was like, let's do it. Yeah. Yes, your kids got tools. All right, this is the first piece. Well, we got this. We're going to be studying arrowheads in the new year. That was the first thing that in the homeschool stuff that they were saying that they wanted to start with was learning about arrowheads. So I've been compiling all this stuff. And then at a garage sale, I found this piece. And I didn't even realize obsidian came in red till I bought this. I was like, this really looks like obsidian. And then I looked it up and it's called, oh, what is it called? There's a name for it, um, the red obsidian. But it's like this volcanic, kind of volcanic glass. You can see how it, it chips away like glass like that, but it's a, a mineral. Oh, what is it called? Anyway, where was I going with that? I forgot. Anyway, um, I don't want to chip away at this to make arrowheads out of it though. <laughs> but I'm really, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Arrowheads. But oh yeah, okay. So what you were saying with art, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> Duh. My um so we ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon, like a a lot of arrowheads, like a hundred arrowheads for like 15 bucks. And then I got some stuff to wire do wire wrapping. So I'm gonna have the kids make wire wrapped arrowhead necklaces to sell on one of my Etsy stores. So that'll be cool. Cause then they want to like earn extra money for stuff, right? Okay, so this is going in. What is that? Two? That makes two. Let me make sure I can get that closed. Yeah, I'm so excited about it. <laughs> and the rock tumbler, too. My dad has, like, a really old rock tumbler, so we would go borrow his, but it would take, like, three days for the rocks to be tumbled in right. Okay, so then there's this. That's three. 
And let's see. Let's do this one. This will be four. That'll be four. I'm going to leave the tag on this one because it shows that it was 20 bucks. And then they'll be like, what? I got my money back already. That's awesome. Okay, so that is number four. Thanks, Patty. Yeah. And this is a cool bracelet. It's got this. I don't know if it's going to focus on it. I can't even remember. Is it the Liberty Bell? Maybe that's the Liberty Bell. Yeah, it's the Liberty Bell, I think. So that's five. <clears throat> Are you about, do you have New Year's plans, guys? We kind of do. This is six. <coughs> There's a lady. <coughs> this coffee does this to me. Sorry. Good morning, real liquidation. This will be seven. Isn't that pretty? I won't wear it though. Seven. <coughs> and this, no, I keep grabbing this and it's got that sticker. Okay, don't even put it back in there till you fix it. Um, yeah, tell me what you're doing for New Year's, you guys. There's a lady that lives in my town, <laughs> sounds weird, that I've met, you know, on a couple occasions, and we get along okay. Well, she's having a New Year's party, and it was like, kids are welcome. Kids will be inside. Adults will be outside. I was like, I don't know about that. And so maybe we'll get the parents to watch the kids, and we'll go hang out. So then this, will have to recount. I've lost count. Do you have more of than one of those with the still, this one, or with the other one, with this one? The, the necklace or the bracelet? Let me know. No, I only have one. Why? You want it? Let me know. I'll take it out. Well, we can make a deal. <laughs> so this is going in. I have to recount. It's a bracelet and earring set. Isn't that cool? Um, where am I? What was that? Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll call this seven, eight. Seven, eight. Hello. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Brenda Files. Eight. And this one gets to be number nine. Number nine necklace. Oh, you saw it on the show yesterday, Cindy says. Yeah, no, I only have one of those. But hey, you know, if you want it, let me know. I'll take it out and swap it out for something else. And this gets to be number 10. Who doesn't like a spiky bracelet? I know I do. 10. And let's find something with a pop of color. This is 11. You got a lot, a lot of darker stuff in there. 11. Yes, PJ, these are going on um, Etsy, my Etsy mystery bags. 11. I had two sell, so <clears throat> so I want to get them shipped out today. What? I just said a number, and I totally forgot. I think I said 11. This one gets to be 12. That's This is why I say between 20 and 30, because <laughs> apparently I can't keep count. <laughs> and even though I just said that, now I, I can't remember what I just said. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll call the next one eleven. How about that? Eleven. There we go. Um, this one can be twelve. This is pretty. Come here. It's got these. These are stone. These pink stones. Twelve. <laughs> so, what are you guys up to today? This can be 13 if I get it closed. 13. It's kind of weird. Okay. Um, where's 14? Who's going to be 14? Lucky number 14 is you. This one gets to be 14. Hello, Daniel. How's it going? This one's getting full. I need some smaller items now. Maybe some earrings? I need to dig down for earrings. Um, well, that's pretty. Okay, let's do that for 15. This will be 15. It's just a pendant with an onk on it. 15. That's like three twelves. <laughs> as long as there's more than 20, right? <laughs> that's that's the deal. As long as there's more than 20. 20 or more. Um, What is this, 16? <laughs> I'll recount it. I'll recount it. It's because I'm talking and working. So that'll be 16. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. Okay, let's count it again. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 
I need to get these earrings together because they're all kind of floating around loose at the bottom. Nope. Now it's getting tangled. Oh, goodness. Okay. Now what? Okay. Here we go. Oh, earrings. Here we go. 16? <laughs> we'll call it 17. How about that? 17. And this can be 18. And this brooch is interesting, so it gets to be 19. It's a full bag. This one's really pretty. This is one that's like, got it's this glass. 20. And we'll put one more in there for good measure. Well, that's a good bag. It's got some cool stuff in there. Okay, one more, one more. Who is it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? How about these earrings? I'll take them off the card because the card has the price tag. There we go. And that gets to be 20. Peacock, there we go. <laughs> and 12. <laughs> One more. That makes 12. <laughs> okay, so there we go. There's our next bag of goodies going out today. Okay, so yeah, I, uh, I'm going to try to get my Christmas decorations down today because I'm ready to just get my house back in order. I feel like everything's been just in an upheaval. Then I wrap it. I'm going to wrap it with this. Yeah, everything's just been kind of all over the place with getting the kids, you know, starting with homeschool and trying to get the front room ready for that. Hang on, put that over there. Yeah, so everything's just been kind of all over the place here. Beautiful red packaging now. And into a box it goes. And then the box, anyone hitting the Christmas stuff, I want to. I do want to show you guys this, though, because this will be, this is over a pound. Where did my tape go? Where is it? Where did it go? It's hiding from me. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So I'll tape it up. Because it's over a pound, you guys probably already know this trick. You guys probably already know this. But because it's over a pound, if I stick this box in a padded flat rate, it'll be cheaper to ship it. So then this goes in this, and it'll ship out. You guys probably already know that. I'm not telling you anything new, but that's how I ship my mugs and stuff too. Yeah, hopefully we'll go. Are the kids excited about home? So they really are. We've had we've been at it for about two weeks, right before the holidays, and they've really enjoyed it. Oh, speaking of that. I have a giveaway going. I started another channel for my homeschool stuff called Texas Gal Homeschools. Real original, right? Um, and so I, I'm drawing today for that. So if you want to follow our journey, go over there and uh, subscribe and enter. It's a box of like toys and stuff. It's, it's cool. New in box toys. Okay. There. That's loud tape, but that's okay. It does the trick. So then it looks like this when it goes out. But it goes as a padded flat rate envelope. Isn't that funny? But it works. I do it all the time. I've heard of people saying that their post office gets irritated about it, but ours don't. Mine don't mind. You, you didn't know that trick, really? Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, it makes it cheaper by like a buck or something. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let me grab another one. Oh, my room is so messy. Okay. What's the size of the box you put? Oh, this is a six by four by four. So you can order them. If you have an Etsy, I mean, an eBay coupon, the eBay has the size. And then these are some I ordered off Amazon too, I think. But yeah, you can, eBay does that, that size too for your coupon. I need to see if I use my coupon because the, the fourth quarter is about to end. I'll bet I did. But go check yours if you have it, if you are eligible for eBay coupons. Yeah. Okie dokie. So that is pretty much that. And wait, one more time. Loud tape. Sorry. Here it comes. Loud tape. Loud tape. There. Okay. There. Sound effects and all. Ah. Okay. So that's pretty much it. And I'm trying to think if I know anything else. I don't think I know anything else. We're supposed to have merch talk tomorrow if you're a merch. merch person um i still can't upload shirts and i keep seeing people on lower tiers 
getting some of their uploads back and I'm like what's the deal man so I can't upload I haven't I've been designing a little bit mostly for my patrons and then um tomorrow, I don't know I'll have to ask Jeff because he's got the flu so if you if you follow Jeff or talk to Jeff go tell him feel better because he's got the flu so I don't even know if he's gonna want to do merch talk if he doesn't <clears throat> I'll talk to Chris and if he doesn't I'll do something merch related tomorrow <laughs> something maybe I'll do one of my I haven't done in a long time like how to create a shirt for free you know with the like free programs and stuff so maybe I'll do that hey Neville we're just getting done um do you have to tell the workers out a flat rate in the your workers get snow no mine mine are real good they don't say anything they're really and then when there's a line I, I like them a lot because we have a drum thing that you can drop them in except for when it's stuck sometimes ours gets stuck and then I have to go in and even if there's a long line they'll see me come in with my boxes and they'll just be like come here come here you know and they'll just take the boxes from me or say you know go put it over there so that will make me wait in the line which is maybe normal but really nice so and one of our postal workers I'm, I'm you may I haven't mentioned this in a while one of the guys that works at the post office kind of looks like um Jeff Goldblum a little bit so that's always nice so and he probably hears that all the time but it, it's nice so anyway, okay, I'm gonna go. That ding was the lady that's picking up some stuff from the garage sale, so I need to go put that out for her. And I'll talk to you later. This is my coffee mug. Cheers, cheers. We got robot love this morning. Robot love. Ah, thank you. All right, <laughs> I will see you guys later and have a great day. Bye, guys.